When Bill and Bob first got sober, Ann Smith, Dr. Smith's wife, was the one who insisted on quiet time in the morning. If Bill and Bob had had their way, they'd have been out the door and out saving drunks. And Ann insisted that they take some quiet time in the morning. She said that's the most important piece. And Dr. Bob, later on in his book, Good Old Timers, he emphasized first things first and first things being God. So I'll ask you to get comfortable. Get quiet. Feel your body. Begin to breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Begin at the bottom of your feet on the soles to feel a light begin. Begins at the soles. goes up to your ankles. Just a quiet, small light that slowly goes up your calf to your knee with a gentle warmth. It begins now to go up your thigh. Soft, gentle light, gentle warmth. Feel it in your abdomen. Soft. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe from your belly. Slowly filling it. Letting it out. With each breath you take in, it's God's love that comes into you, filling you. And with each breath goes your worries, your troubles, your concerns. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. The light slowly spreads, going up your spine, Filling your back into your shoulders, chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in God's love. Breathe in God's peace. Breathe in God's grace. light goes down your arm to your elbows down your forearms to your wrists into your hands and to each finger Breathe out your troubles, 
Let them slide out through your fingertips. And what's left is God's peace, God's love, God's light. The light slowly goes up into your neck. up the back of your head a nice gentle light down your forehead your eyes your nose your ears cheeks mouth the light goes down into your chin filling you completely with each breath you are filled more and more with God's peace the light begins to grow filling you more until you feel it radiating out from you reaching out to your neighbor filling us all breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out God, we feel your presence with us. We ask this morning, as we begin our day, that you direct our thinking. Divorce our minds from thoughts of self-pity, dishonest, self-seeking motives, so that our thinking may be on a much higher plane, free of these wrong motives, so we might use this brain as you intended. Grant us an intuitive thought or decision as we go about planning our day and as we move through it. Show us what our each and every step should be along the way and give us whatever we need to take care of such problems. Grant us the ability to relax, take it easy, not to struggle. Just wait for the right answers to come. Take away our self-will to the exact degree it is not of service to you and to our fellow men. Grant us the ability to recognize when we are first becoming agitated or doubtful, irritated, or fearful. And in that moment, grant us your power to pause and ask you for right thought or action, and your power to carry it out. Grant us the ability to remind ourselves consistently throughout the day that we're not running the show, but to say to ourselves in a humble manner, Your will, not mine, be done. Your will, not mine, be done. Keep us from the dangers of excitement, fear, anger, worry, self-pity, jealousy, self-righteousness, procrastination, perfection, criticism, and judgment. Grant us the ability to become more efficient, not burn up energy foolishly, trying to arrange the show to suit ourselves. Discipline us in this practice as we are undisciplined. Show us the way of kindliness, patience, tolerance, and love with everyone we come in contact with as we go about our day. Help us to grow in effectiveness and understanding and love and tolerance. Grant us the ability to carry the vision of your will for us into all of our activities. How may we best serve you? Again, your will, not mine, be done. Show us what we can do for the person who is still sick and suffering and grant us whatever it is we need to be able to do your work. We feel your presence. We feel your light deep within us. It burns brightly. Keep me open, God, with this light 
deep within me as I go about this day. Open me up so that I may let your loving presence shine out from within me and so that I may experience and see your shining presence in others. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts that we are blessed with this day and blessed with your bounty and blessed with the presence of each other. With each breath, we begin to feel not only your presence, but the energy that you are going to feed us with today. An energy that will keep us present. An energy that will prepare us to be receptive to your words, to those thoughts that are of you. With each breath, we take in more and more of your energy, more and more of your light. And as we begin to slowly pay attention with each breath to our body, our body begins to respond to the energy and we become more and more present to be centered, to be with you and each other today. Slowly we pay attention to our bodies more and more and slowly we come back to be present to this beautiful day. As you're ready, come back and join us, filled with a new energy to be present. Thank you.